All right, good afternoon. This is where it begins. This is where it's gonna happen. I have an old tool trailer here, and I am just going to walk the topper off onto the back of it. I've done this before several times uh, with toppers. Walk them back and forth one hand. You can get underneath of it and do that. It's pretty easy to do. And there's not much of a difference in height. So I can just walk it back, set it up, and just keep on pushing it. Should come right on off. All right, this is the moment and the day that we've all been waiting for. I know there's a bunch of people that really didn't ever really care much for the topper on or on anyway, but it did serve a purpose. All right, so with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so the first steps I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this connector that's for the marker lights on this side and for the roof. And now for over here on the driver's side. That's free. And that's free. Dome light, third brake light, uh, marker lights. All that is done. All that is out of the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and Get rid of this spare tire where it's at for the moment. Just going to unhook that. There's a wrench here. A little screwdriver to strip your gear. Okay. So let's get these bolts undone. Remember. Uh, all the comments saying that I need a cordless drill or driver. Well, I heard you. I finally made that move. And I tell you what, I am so glad that I did. All right. One out of the way. bolts out of it while I can. I got one that's just not going to give up. There we go. I knew it had it in it. Alright, so the passenger side's free. Let's work on the driver's side. Just a regular 5 16 by 18 by an inch bolt and I took a piece of flat stock and cut it about two inches long, drilled a hole and that's what anchored it on the bottom.
One more. One more, and it's all done. Oh yeah, there's also a power point here. I'm gonna cut that and that's gonna be gone too. All right, so all the bolts are out, wires are disconnected. It is time to get this thing off. I'm gonna set the camera outside so you can see me walking. I just took it down the road to suck all of the uh, 
stink bugs out of the bed. <laughs> but I put the bed rails on and I'll probably have to get me a heat gun or something to get this Velcro where I had to carpet over the bed rails. Uh, spare tire. Um, I'll get me a cover for it. I've still got the bracket. I took the bracket off underneath uh, on the bottom because they're, they're aggravating to fool with. But I've thought about putting the spare tire back under it, but if I don't, I'll get me a cover for it in the bed. Uh, every pickup I've ever had, I've had the spare tire in the bed anyway. Uh, yeah, everything. I put this in in 2012. It's kind of just like I'm picking up where I left off. Still got the same dirt on it. Still got, still got the grease on it where I hauled. Um, I forgot what it was. I hauled a pressure washer or something. And oil leaked out of the front. And of course, the bed. It's still clean. It's spotless underneath. First time I've touched a bed mat in 10 years. Ah, shoot. I don't know why I put that cell phone antenna on for. No one uses them anymore. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, well, anyway. That's all. And I'm going to see about putting some tires on it pretty soon. Uh, I'll start driving it again. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, I had some friends like, why did you put that topper on it? Well, I needed to haul some groceries. So, but yeah, that's that's about it. So, I'm going to end this video. Spring is almost here. Wow. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, so, I hope everyone has a good weekend. It's almost Friday, you all. Hang in there. Okay, well, thank you for watching.